the Rubik's Cubes. Or sort of Rubik's Cubes, I don't know. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Where, where did I put them? Um, you know what? I can't find them. I guess I'll just use the modern iModern Arts logo, which looks pretty nice. I made it. I might do a tutorial on how to create a logo in uh, Photoshop and Cinema 4D. How do you make a 3D logo? But for now, I'll just use the shape as if it's standing there and looking straight at us. <laughs> um, okay, so let's hit enter and just make it editable. Editable. I'm saying edible. <laughs> um, all right. And now let's do the same thing, let's do some color correction, so image adjustments, again brightness and contrast, increase brightness to uh, 12, contrast to 60, okay, image adjustments, levels, bring this one uh, up a little bit, actually no, not in not in this case, we won't need it, it's dark enough already. So, image adjustments, vibrance, uh, I don't know if vibrance will be better, more vibrance or less. I guess just keep it the same way as it is. Then image adjustments, color balance, and again mid-tones, a little bit of red. And then um, shadows a little bit of blue. Okay. And uh, now let's work on the lighting effect. So again, grab a dodge tool and do that thing at the top. And as you can see, it's starting to look quite nice. Looks like it's being lighted up at the top. And then just do a little bit of that as you go down. Okay. And then at the bottom, let's grab a burn tool and make it darker. Okay. <clears throat> now what we want to do yeah uh, we have to create the shadows for it so grab a brush tool and create another layer and just like repeat the shape let's make the brush a little bit smaller and hardness 235 Oops. Um, did I increase it? No, I actually increased the hardness. So yeah, decrease the hardness. I'm sorry about that. And you want to make a straight, somewhat of a straight line. Okay. And then grab a really big, um, Eraser and then just kind of even it out, and then go uh, and then grab a grab a brush tool and sweep across. And then again, erase it a little bit. Okay, so the until it looks realistic enough. Okay, and then choose, choose, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired, uh, choose um, the blending mode, change it to overlay, and I think, no, no, actually, overlay doesn't look good right now, 
Never mind, just put it to normal. Yeah, normal is okay. Alright. Now, uh, one uh, almost the final thing is to uh, put lights here. Put some light here. And I use uh, flares for that. Um, it's in my graphics pack. Somewhere here. Um, 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 there was my graphic spec somewhere around. Yeah, there. And there's optical flares in there. Let's just grab this one right now. For now. And put it right there. And then hit enter. Okay. And uh, change the blending mode to a uh, linear dodge, I think, was the best one. Linear dodge, add, yeah. And then put it somewhere where it's uh, bright, where it could, where it looks realistic, you know. Somewhere like uh, right up there, that looks pretty nice. And uh, drag this layer over the mask layer, the black uh, border thing. And as you can see, it looks really nice already. <laughs> it looks really nice, actually. <laughs> um, I might put this as my new background. Anyways, uh, grab another optical flare. I like maybe this one. Put it as uh, linear dodge add. And put it right there. So it looks even nicer now. And hit enter. And I think that looks pretty good. And another optical flare. I didn't add that to the last uh, to the last image I had. You know, the one that I'm using for my background right now. And I I just thought about it. Uh, maybe adding a little flare to to my shape. Hit enter and change the blending mode again to linear dodge. Anyways, uh, adding one of the flares to my shape, like right on top of here. I think that looks pretty cool. As if the light bounces off of the shape and goes into you. Yeah, that's pretty nice, I think. Anyways, one more thing to do with the, with the flares is to... Um, erase the edges because as you can see here it's a hard edge so just kind of erase it and down here too okay <laughs> and it's pretty cool right there it looks like the window is being reflected the light is being reflected in the window uh, anyways grab every single uh, layer that's a, sh a flare and just kind of you know, you can see the line here, and yeah, just delete that line because it looks kind of fake. Then grab another one. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. And we are on to the final thing that we need to do, and that's uh, to add a like sort of a dusty screen effect or dusty lens if you want to call it that uh, anyways it's this kind of picture where it's like a d dirty glass and we're gonna add it to our picture and let's enlarge it to make it fit the screen hit enter and um, it's stuck and then change the blending mode I don't remember which blending mode I had, but we'll see what looks the best for the picture. Yeah, I think I had this one overlay. Yeah, all of these looks look pretty nice, but 
Um, best way to see the difference is to grab another one of those or duplicate it and then just uncheck one of them and then this one just change it to normal um, actually no that's not a good way sorry <laughs> yeah just delete the other one yeah I guess it, it looks pretty nice uh, a bit of a dusty screen effect yeah anyways this is pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching guys and see you in my next video